So holding on to the back of the chair, close your eyes and just take a moment to allow your body to settle. Bringing your attention more. So focusing on maybe your heartbeat is like in your heart. Focusing on the pattern of the breathing. Inhale, lift one arm up and then turn your head to the opposite shoulders, reaching up and turning your head away from that arm that's being raised. Exhale, lower your arm and look back center. Put your arm up on the other side, lift the opposite arm up to the end. Stretch trying to force anything. Maybe you take a little side of lean here. Look over your hands, go hands back to the chair. Step back. Maybe not as far as you look for down dog. We're going to do some cats down here. So for the cow, you're just going to tilt your pelvis forward. You're starting to feel in your legs, you bend your knees, and look up towards the ceiling. And then tuck your chin in, push up through your shoulder blades, doming up your upper back. And I'll just do a few of these, dropping into cow. You're going to feel this way more standing than you would on all fours or even in your chair. So Legs are going to start to fire up. You can feel how much weight is pressing down into the soles of your feet, standing. Articulate the back in a bunch of different directions. Inhale is when the belly drops. Is everybody feeling it in their legs already? Yeah, me too. The one more of these. Then when you're ready, walk it all the way back into the downward facing dog. Shift your hips back. Maybe do a little sway side to side with your shoulders or your hips. Slowly lift your head up, look over your left shoulder, bringing your hips a little bit forward. Exhale, lower more yourself back. Inhale, lift up, look over your right shoulder. Put that down. Now just take your time exploring this. So as you lift up, look over one shoulder. As you shift your hips back, look down. Move slow. Lift your hands, take a little walk back towards your chair, come back to the seat, once, both arms, both legs. 
It's amazing what she's taking her head a little bit lower to change the blood pressure. Step our feet into a wide face. Hands to your hips from strong and start like we're doing a hula hoop. It doesn't matter what it looks like, you just try to get into the world that's so crazy. You just want to know where you need to touch. It's going to feel different for all of us. We're going in one direction, try to go in the other way. Way. Slow down, center. Feel the feet anchoring into the floor. Take your arms up a little bit. Big stretch. Inhale, raise your arms up. Keep your hands in prayer or you can interlace them to the left and center. And then lean to one side. You can pick which side you like. So this is too much for you to hold the back of your head. Candles. One more on each side. Center and soft lady and lower your arms. And you twist back. Arms will come out. Take your right hand to your left shoulder and your left hand behind you. Inhale, bring your arms back out to your seat. Exhale, flip. Inhale, flip. Exhale, flip. Going to the east side. Take your arms out to the feet. Look onto the back of the chair. And again, you can decide if you want to stay still in here. Want to sway a bit. Concentrate on sound and lights and just hearing what's out there. Right. Go to your feet back underneath you. Come back to standing, legs and ball, shoulders relaxed. Turn so one hip is facing the side of the chair. We're going to take the inner leg, the leg that's closest to the back for us, and lift that knee up. Keep your shoulders down, keep your knees forward, and see if you can stand. Press into the standing leg toe without ripping the toes, just press down. Now, see if you can extend out 
your standing leg a little bit. Bend your knee. And you kick it back behind you. Bring your knee back forward. Bend your leg down. Uh, to the other side. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> take a um, take the leg that's closest to the chair. Anchor down or out of the foot. Yeah. Forward. Go back. Your knee. Again, we'll move just a little faster this time, but we'll do it three times. All right, so we'll inhale, when it closest to the chair, it comes up. Bend it, bend it, bring it back. You can take your elbow, bring your knee back forward, bend it, bend it, bring it back. Can we do it one more time? One more. Knee comes up, take it out, bend. Bring your knee forward, set your foot down. Hmm, good job. Turn that out to the opposite side. We'll do this one three times. Knee comes forward. Then we come down in front of you. Bend your knee again. Knee forward, but your leg. You can move your body, use your glute. Bring your knee forward. Get out front. Bend your knee, bring it back. Come on down, bring it forward. This is what you're going to do at home. That's where you can find a little spot. <laughs> and you're now, I do it at your own answer. So we're working has to work on the back a little bit. An easy way to work on the back is those little back bends. So it's really the hips, the pelvis forward, keeping your chin as it's on a shelf, the back of your neck stays straight. And you can feel a little tug here, right? So how do you, if it's like too much and too intense, you can widen your stance, you'll feel less us. So if you want more, keep together, less, you know, fall. Kind of like choose your own asana. And some days I need it, some days I'm like, nope, not today, body. And then if you're like, this is too easy, holding onto the chair, it's your chin down, bring your arms up. One more. Hands back to the chair. We'll step back to our down dog. Oh, we should have been last time to walk in. All right, so look down at your feet. We're going to do a knee to chest neck. So as you do this, you're going to push up through your back. So your knee's gonna come in, your head's gonna go down. And just try one at a time, because that would be hard to do. But just bringing the knee toward your nose, maybe even looking up in the foot. So when you lift the knee to your nose, you look at it. When you lower your foot, look up. Go slow. There's no need to like move it in fast. Okay. 
One more balance, please. Take your fingertips to the chair. Just cross one angle in front of the other. Feeling this area of your body right here. We're going to bend it up the knees. Not to slide the front leg up your leg. Maybe it's just one finger on the chair. Try the other foot, first cross one ankle in front of the other. Lower your hips and then see if you can lift up. Toe or two. Find something to stare at that's not moving. Good job. Come on back and have a seat. Really good. Once you get there, lean back. Give yourself a 30 second shavasana. Bring your back off the backrest. So lean forward and slide your right hand on the backrest. The palm touching. Keep it back up straight. And now all we're going to do is lean your left ear to your left shoulder and bring it back up. And then take it several times. You know, lean away from your right shoulder. And Right here. Your arm up, bending your elbows, pointing your palm on your back. Body just like all of you. Stay with me, don't you? Take this hand, your left hand, and reach around and see if you can find your fingers, okay? Mine, I can't find. <laughs> can't find, and my fingers are not connected, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this left hand on the back of the chair. So it's going to drop this other shoulder down. 
We all feel that already in your shoulders. But this is the now for most. You need more reach for your fingertips. We do this one with a strap or a towel for you to hold one hand and the other one. But this works pretty good too. Now, if you like to try a little lean to your left, Right arm up, take your left hand back to your left hand. Thread the right arm underneath. Reach for something up here. Bring your right hand back up. Take your left hand to the back of the tail. Try to encourage your shoulder not to be up there, your hips are relaxing. So gently tilt your ear, your right ear to your right shoulder. So we go what we call this high trade, stretching the bones muscle and then learning how to come back. You notice one side a little tighter than the other. Four, and your elbow, and back yourself all the way. Another hand behind you. And then reach for your fingertips or just your arm back and across. Try to lift up through the crown of your head. And then I'm just going to take a little lean in here. Lean forward. Hands behind your back to your lap, which great. We're going to thread the needle through the arm. Great. Lower it down to your knees. We're going to slide. First one, fold. Then one. Wiggle out a little bit of the shoulders. Thank you. 
Or where your bold attention in your body, maybe it's in your mouth, <laughs> your jaw, your face, you touch it to that. Already, we're going to let lift the cheek back and speak to the end of the movement. The walking harder. Forward. Step out your left leg here to the side. Step through your head a little taller. Take your arms up to the Arch right up underneath the left Hold your opposite Side and our goal for your arms, softly open. Take your left hand to the inside of your right hand, take a to your right hand, shoulder, and upper left of the back. Take a variation of my hand, stay on my hip today. Now, you can bring that top right shoulder back so you stack your shoulder up your shoulder. Maybe you choose to look up. As we exit this, look down. Look back and then apply your Switch sides. Take your right hand to the inside of your right knee. Left hand to your hip. Slide your arm down as far as it feels comfortable. And then bring back your left shoulder. Maybe turn your head and look up. Now turn your head and look down and slide your knee turn up. Try to look at the side. Left hand slides down. Anchor in your left shoulder to your leg. Bring your right shoulder back. Look at the sky. Now towards the earth. Tuck the to the right, fly the right arm down your inner thigh, turn your head to face upwards. Turn your head down to slide up. Lift up the front knee, maybe you want to hold it. On the other side, we went right in the side. 
This time we're not going to go to side of side, we're going to go straight down. If you need to hold your legs, we do. You're feeling comfortable, take your hands to the floor, wherever down there, just hold them down. You don't want to reach too much, but you can get to the ground to the side. Fine, move slow and Everybody else did that. I can the right hold in space with the right to front with your head. Don't breathe. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> a little to go to the neck. Lift your left foot, put your ankle on top of your right knee or ankle over it. Foot. Left foot is on top of your knee. Or actually, the flex. So notice the difference between at least two things. When you flex it, it, it like secures this joint. So you want always to protect your Hercules. Last part. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Inhale, bring your arms. Exhale, hold on to your shins and round with your back. Take your nose down. <laughs> and inhale, straight your back. Reason. Exhale. Inhale. Lower your arms. Take your left hand, whatever. This feels the ground pointing your head to the side. Windshield wiper foot side to side. Press down, bend in, lift up, take your opposite arm, and you reach for it. Lower. Okay. Oh, 
Put your heels on the ground. Maybe do like a little massage. Like his pants soft. I know my clothes not what they look like a little bit of pants on the Turn your foot next to the other foot. That's the move on. My pigeon pose or figure four pose is done in the We lift the foot up and decide where you want to place it. This one. May have to do something different on the side as you do on the other side. Put this up here, go ahead and flex it. Alright. Go to the corner. And grab it on the other side. Go to the other side. Well, we Yeah, we swing forward, bring the heel down, and just move your foot from left to right. Let's fall. Opposite arm. Or breathe for your toes, then lower your heel and your arm up. You got it. One more. Heel, reach your top hand down to your little massage. Take the knees and then back together and sit up. Put your feet out, separate, keep your hands and your legs and butt lines, and then bring your shoulders down. Have a nice and flat as you come into the chair. Down. Okay, but we should be on the 
provide legged hole, maybe it's the nails a little looser, not as much tightness. Come out with your slow hands to the knees. Bringing the head up nice and slow. Put your feet together. Softly. Close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. And don't just make your eyes cross eyes. I want you to bring your attention to that space in between your eyebrows. Focus there, your right or two. Just like getting closing. We're going to add some hand movements to this and then to the floor and work the brain a bit. So when the toes go out, palms are down. When the toes come together, palms are up. Toes go out. It's really challenging for me to even teach it. <laughs> Toes together, palms are up. Yellow, palms One more. Take the heels of your palms. Bring them right here to your temple. Maybe you just like a little massage or rubbing. No pressure, just a little bit of soft. Down, the arms sway. The heels of our hands, one to the front of our forehead, one to the back of our head. So, heel, forehead, back of the hands, back of the head. And you're not pressing your hands into your head, feeling, touch the sensation of something there. Now, whatever hand you have on your forehead, switch and move it to the back, and then bring your back to the front.
Next, take one hand to your chest, other hand to your belly. Low exhale out. And inhale from your belly, push your belly into your hand, like blow up your belly as you inhale. As you exhale, let your belly contract and expand. Push it out. Exhale, push it Belly into your hand. Exhale. Concentrate on this. Finding class, we did an experiment. We did this belly expanding on inhale as we were sitting in a chair, like you are now. And then we did it lying down and find a little silly here. But it's for me, it's much easier to do it lying down. Okay. Now pushing the battery is moving. You're going to just bring your hands to your lap. Back to the other side. Your sense to notice being what you feel. What you feel the air of what you see. No. Maybe notice this smell reminds you of something. 
I can still smell my random of seeing things. The smell of all of my grandma's house. Okay. So, I'm going to put it all in the same. And our um, very linked to our memories. That's why they use incense. In rituals, because when you smell that, you know what it brings back. If you don't have a nice candle or something with a nice clothing, it's something that you like to smell of. Take three more conscious brothers together, maybe we don't. On inhale, lift your legs. Maybe lift your arms. Curl into a little ball, lower your legs, hold your knee to it. Give yourself a loving embrace. Slowly and yourself for your calmness. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Yes. And you use your senses to remind you of the joy that surrounds you so much. Oh, the sound is amazing. Thanks, John. <laughs>